And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create a really cool lighting effect, including a lens flare in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us all up on Twitter at Flurn. We had a really cool week this week. It's fashion week, which means we just, well we did a fashion shoot last week and this week we're editing the images. So we got some really good Photoshop images to edit. We've got really cool behind the scenes gonna be coming out as well as teaching guys how to do some lighting. And we've got a pro tutorial as well coming out that's gonna like go deep in depth on how to do Photoshop editing as well as teaching some really cool lighting techniques. So we got a really cool technique for you today. It's uh, gonna be creating basically some lighting effects and a lens flare in Photoshop. Really cool, can't wait to get into it. Let's go ahead and do it. So this is our image from last week's shoot and uh, this is pretty much straight out of camera, which I'm super happy with it. It came out really, really nice. We've got a, a light kind of coming from back here behind these bars. You can see that's actually a strobe that we put back behind there and that's what's creating the light that we're going to be working with in this tutorial. So um, before we get started in the tutorial, guys, there are a couple things to keep in mind. This technique is gonna be really great if you have an image where you have some backlight in because that's when the light is gonna be coming into the actual camera itself. And that's when it's gonna create all those nice lighting and lens effects. If you only have front lighting, meaning if the light is only coming from the same direction as the camera, you really don't get that same kind of lighting effect. So don't try to do these type of images if the lighting is all coming from the same direction as the camera. But if you do have like a sun behind a person or something like that, it's a really, really great chance you can do these, some of these techniques on your photos. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is kinda like build an atmosphere that gets ready for this lens flare. Cause this thing is, it's pretty good. I mean, this is straight out of the camera. Um, it already looks pretty good. We're going to enhance it a little bit more. So we're gonna grab a curves adjustment layer. Let's go down here and uh, we're gonna go to curves. Okay, and now we're gonna play around. A lot of the time we're gonna grab the center and kind of like play around here, like make things lighter, darker, things like that. But what happens a lot of the time when you do have a lighting effect is it actually changes the black level. Like the area around the light won't, it won't go all the way to black. Like it'll be like a deep red or something or a deep green instead. So we're gonna mimic that. So we're gonna go from our RGB channel, we're gonna go to our red channel, and then this time, instead of grabbing in the middle and like bringing that up, which takes your mid-tone greens up, reds or cyans, we're gonna take this bottom lot sign, and that's just banks it so that like, basically now we're not gonna have any blacks. There are no blacks in this image, they've been replaced by a dark red instead. So that's what that does there. So we're gonna build this up just a little bit here, and then I'm gonna go to my green channel and we're gonna bring this up a little bit as well. And that's just gonna help it out balance a little bit. So the red and the green are gonna play together. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we don't want this to be visible everywhere, but that's gonna be really nice right around our flare. So let's hit Command I on the layer mask. We're gonna grab our brush tool and then here with like a really soft brush and I'm gonna paint it about a flow of 20%. It's just gonna, it's gonna let a little bit down at the time. It's gonna just help me like kind of build how much, uh, how much of this effect I actually want to go over top of my image. And we're gonna definitely cover right over here over top of the dress and then kind of like come down over in this area as well and up there. So this is like laying the, laying the groundwork, but this is one of the things that's gonna really help sell it. So this is basically what we've got there and this is just kind of taking care of our darks. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to, you know what, we can make, even make that a little bit brighter. Let's go back to the RGB and I'm gonna grab here and just make that a little bit brighter. There we go. So not only do we have some light, but we have the color in there as well. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create some circles that are like, you know, the nice lighting effects or the lens effects. So we're gonna, again, go to our curves adjustment layer and I'm gonna grab a blue channel. We're just gonna click and drag this down just a little bit and that's gonna make it yellow because blue and yellow are the opposites in, well, in Photoshop curves anyway. Um, and then we're gonna pull the red channel up a little bit. Okay, so this is what we've got. And you know what, maybe here, I'm gonna actually go to the RGB and brighten that up a little bit too. So this is kind of like the same idea, but you can see it's a lot more contrasty. Like this before, when you grab from like the bottom, it just kind of makes things look a little more natural. Here it's like gonna be way more saturating contrasty. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command I on that layer as well. And now with our brush tool, I'm gonna right click and we're gonna bring our hardness all the way up to like 90% or so. And then we can just change our size. And then basically what I'm gonna do is just like click in a couple places. Like we're just gonna to, and you can do this with your, you know, uh, with your trackpad or whatever, uh, make our brush a little larger and then kind of click there and then 
we'll just click there and you know maybe make a, a small one and click that there. I don't know. Why not? Okay, so those are some nice lighting effects there. Um, they're a little bit on the that doesn't look so good side. Let's make another one. Um, maybe like lower your flow a little bit to like 20% and you can create some more. Okay, be a little more subtle. So if they do look like this, like that's way too saturated. It just doesn't look that good. We need to take our blue channel and we need to just do this just a little bit more with it. All right, and that's the one thing I really love about curves is you can pretty much just go in and adjust these things after you've created them and it's, it really doesn't matter. Like you don't have to get things right the first go round. All right, that looks good. It's just too strong, so we're gonna lower the opacity a little bit. There we go. Cool, and now you can use the move tool and just kind of like move this around. You can really do whatever you want with it. All right, that looks pretty good. So already we have the basis of our lighting work. Now the next thing we wanna do is kind of create some like uh, light rays, and this is gonna be really cool. So we're gonna create another layer, and actually we're gonna use a curve adjustment layer again. Why not? We can use a curves, let's just grab this and kind of like bring it up right about there. I'm gonna hit command I on that layer to invert it again. And now we're gonna use our brush tool and create a nice small size brush. And I'm gonna create these little white highlights, just like kind of clicking around the place. Maybe some, my brush will be a little bit larger like this. This is just dots, guys. This is like, you don't have to go to college to do this. You don't have to spend a lot of time. You could be talking to someone else while you do this. In fact, my layer mask looks like that. It's amazing, right? Okay, what do we do with this thing? Well, what we're gonna do is click on our layer mask. We're gonna go to filter. We're gonna go to blur, and then I'm gonna go to a radial blur. And this is gonna kind of give us that nice, like zoomed out, like lighting effects. So here you can kind of choose your blur center, and it doesn't give you a preview, which kind of sucks, so you just kind of have to guess. So we're just gonna say somewhere around there, and then you can bring your amount up a little bit. If you don't get it right, you just hit undo and try it again. So we'll hit okay and see if it looks about like it's coming from our light. Pretty close, I want it to be a little bit farther to the right side. So we're just gonna go to filter, blur, radial blur, and then go a little more right. Also make sure you're on uh, zoom here, not spin. Spin's gonna give you a different effect that you don't want here. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. And now the cool technique here is you can continue to make these little dots. Anywhere you want, you can make these little dots. And you don't have to keep going through dialog. Just hit Command F and it's going to apply the same exact filter over again. So hit Command F, there we go. And it's just gonna do the same thing over and over again. And because I'm on a layer mask here on, see this is what my layer mask looks now, pretty cool. I can just paint black in some areas, like let's zoom in so you guys can see what's going on here. I can paint black in some areas, like oh I don't want it to be so visible there. You know what, I want more of it here, like behind her, maybe some over her arm. And then hit Command F again. And there we go, you've got a, just a little bit more, like paint some white in here. Why not, between these bars. And then it's gonna look like, oh, light's shining between the bars. See, look at that. Light shining between the bars. Really, really cool effect, and uh, you can make it as subtle or as pronounced as you'd like. If you'd like to be more subtle, just click on your curves adjustment layer and just kind of like bring your brightness down. So, you know, not as subtle, more subtle. There we go. And then you can still use a little bit of refinement. So this is what my layer mask looks like right now. Just grab your brush tool and paint black with like a soft round brush, and you just like, Paint it away from any areas you don't want. Okay, very cool. All right, we've got a couple more things and then we're gonna be done. So the other thing that I wanna do is kinda of bring some attention to that part of my image and I'm gonna basically create like a custom vignette to do this. So we're just gonna darken up some of the edges and then lighten up that area. So let's start with the lights. We're gonna grab a curve adjustment layer, just kinda of like bring this a little bit brighter. We're gonna grab our marquee, the elliptical marquee and basically make a circle like right around there. I'm gonna hit Command I, that's just gonna invert the layer mask, deselect that, and then hit Command I again. Whatever technique you use doesn't really matter, just as long as you have a layer mask that looks like that, right over here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Filter, down to Blur, and to Gaussian Blur. We're just gonna give this a nice big blur. There we go, that makes it look nice and natural. That might be too strong an effect, so let's just take that down a little bit. Okay, then we're basically gonna do the same thing on the outside, except we're gonna go down and we're going to choose a nice big, there we go, area there. Give that a blur as well. Just playing with our layer masks here, guys. 
All right, so that's going to darken up your edges a little bit. And if you want to, you can use your, you like, you can hit Command T and use your transform dialog to like move this around, like so it's not centered in the center, it can be centered towards the right. You can scale it and move it and things like that. All right, so that's basically that effect right there. So let's go ahead and group our different effects, and then we can see the before and after and see what a difference this makes. So this is the final effect, which just basically it takes it from being like a flat image and like makes the center uh, where the actually the light source is. It it also works out that that's where our subject is in this image. That's not you know, we wanted it to be like that. So it just takes it from looking like flat and puts your eyes like right towards the light source and towards your subject, which is really great. All right, there we go. And then that's our really cool lighting effect. So the two together, here's our before and after what we did today. There's the before and the after. Didn't take incredibly long and it creates a quite a bit more of a dynamic image. And it's all complete, completely created from scratch using pretty much just curves and layer masks in the brush tool. And that's it, guys. <laughs> Boom. Done. Guys, thanks so much for watching this Florin episode. I hope you learned a lot and you can apply this to all your images that have a backlight. If you like what we've got going on here at Florin, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just like a click away, it's either below or above this video somewhere. You can comment on this video to let us know how we're doing or other ideas of what you'd like to see done in Photoshop and share it with your friends and your dog and the ice cream man. Be sure to stay tuned for our awesome behind the scenes videos and Photoshop edits and pro tutorials and all that stuff for Fashion Week. Thanks guys, and we'll learn you later. What, am, what else am I talking about? It's Fashion Week, right? So we got behind the scenes coming out. We got a pro tutorial coming out. It's gonna be the shit. All right, nobody talk for the next five minutes. Nobody sneeze for the next five minutes.